not quite sure how well this will work. I'm alive. I am alive. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, let me get all my supplies here. Plug in the soldering iron. Maybe I should have done this before streaming. Okay. Hello, YouTube. It's been a while. I know. Don't know how well you were able to hear me because I don't have anybody watching right now. Oh. Well, I guess I can see a little thingy on the... This is all new to me for this streaming... This way to stream. Uh, let's see. I need these. Keep trying to keep my tools there. Of course, I say that now, and later on, I'll end up with them everywhere. Uh, let's get the heat shrink tubing. All right. <clears throat> so, let's install. Headlights. Maybe that helps. I don't know how well. Eh, this is all going to be difficult. kind of like that, though. Move around the desk lamp. There we go. Okay. Atherin HO scale. F59 PHI, ready to roll. At least. Not anymore. Alright, let's install a decoder. Or, headlights. Shell is off. Okay, let's... Actually, let's, uh... Yeah, I need the light. There we go. Let's redo this wiring a little bit here. Try to scrape all the flux out of the cap back into the little jar. Clean up the thing a little bit. So it's all not on the edges and put it shit back in the center. There we go. I need more flux eventually. All right, so do I have a little brush? Yeah, brush will help. Yeah. Right, so let's put a dab of flux on that solder pad there. Is this hot enough yet to melt solder? Yes, it is. Okay. Weezers. Yeah, I don't need tweezers. Just get on. There we go. All right, heat shrink tubing versus electrical tape. Good for temporary. Good for more permanent. I installed this decoder and I used electrical tape just so I can make sure that the engine runs properly with DCC. And it does, thankfully. Beautifully as well. So I'm going to take the electrical tape connections and replace them with heat shrink. 
This cost me like five bucks on Amazon for this whole package of tubing. All right, so they come this long. Obviously, I don't need that long, so I'm gonna, gonna just probably about a quarter of it. So I'm gonna cut it in half. Or as close to half as I can make it by eye, and cut it in half again. Of course. I end up losing one. All right. So we're going to start moving these solder connections. These little temporary solders, soldering joints. Or not temporary solder joints, but a electrical tape should be this one is a bit too long Take the heat shrink. Put it over the wire. Almost forgot one little detail. My where'd it go? There it is. Hiding off in the corner. A lighter for electrical use. Okay, that's good to go. Let's put the heat shrink over it. I should use the next size up shrink, heat shrink. That's probably just a thick solder joint. Do that. A little bit of heat, and there we go. All right, so there's that one. This is a mess of wires. Wait a minute. Do I have a different locomotive I want to put the light in? Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to put it in a different one right now. This is going to be a little bit of a project later on. So, it's not going to be put in a uh, decoder in a, or our lights in a F59, but it'll be in a different locomotive. I'll be right back. Let me see. Can I mute my microphone on here?
And I'm back. Thought I lost a locomotive for a minute there. Don't know where it went. I got a Proto 2000 GP38-2. Hmm. Forgot where I put it. Well, it's somewhere. Anyways, here's another locomotive I wanted to put headlights in because it didn't have any. The Atlas Silver Series, uh, Silver Master Series Dash Eight. This is gonna be hard to get out of the package here sometimes. There we go. All right, so crack open a Dr. Pepper here. All right. Now then, let's see how am I going to do this? I believe there are some hidden screws. Gonna need my screwdriver here. There's no screws there. Let's pull this part out. Never mind, it, there aren't any hidden screws. What it is, is the couplers holding in place for the most part. Okay, so I got my little magnetic dish here for the screws and all that stuff. Pull them out. Pull out both couplers. And that foam really wants to stick on it. There's foam, bits of foam on the bottom of my locomotive and on the roof, too. I need to figure out a better packaging than the original box for this thing. So I'm going to also take a Sharpie here. Right on the fuel tank, which way is front? I take off fuel tank. From it, put it in the box. Now this frame, yep, there it goes. Cool thing should pop off, there we go. Also another, oh. Well, okay then. I kind of lost some of the plastic parts there, but there we go. Found them and put them back. I believe this goes on that way, but I forgot. So that's going back in the box there. Now for my choice of LEDs and my hardware for the locomotive. I have a package of LEDs. hundred of them cost me like three bucks on Amazon for this whole big pack here. 100 white LEDs. I believe these are warm white. But I can't remember. Uh, let's see, I forgot also, I have more tools. And I think that's all of it. Yeah. I have my LED test or headlight test kit here. 
have it just LED connected to the uh, plugs I use, and then this one has both male plugs, and this one's female plug for the LED. And I have the plugs here. Bought a pack of them on Amazon as well. I do a lot of stuff. I get a lot of stuff on Amazon for this stuff. Really convenient. 20 pairs of uh, little cable connectors. Little plugs and sockets. And a pack of 100 1K resistors. These are 1K, 1 kilo ohm, half watt, 5% resistance, or 5% yeah, I think it is. Impedance. <clears throat> there we go. That's the word I wanted to look for. I was looking for. Anyways, this locomotive. I already did it with the heat shrink. Uh, let me get my handy little cheat sheet book here. So I know what wire is what. I know blue is common. Uh, blue common. White for front. Yellow for rear. Okay. Gosh, these are short wires. <coughs> Just make it easier for me to get my finger underneath the tape to pull it off. Get out the wires, which I have bundled together neatly. This is going to look like a mess for a little while. Trash can, that goes. <clears throat> All right, here we go. During the install, I'm going to take out the decoder. I can't get in there and pull it out. There we go. It's white wire. Oh, crap. There is not a blue. I've got this decoder. I kind of pulled the uh, blue out by accident. Or uh, the connector, the uh, nine pin connector. Great. It's going to be interesting. Um, how am I going to do this? I'm going to end up having to buy a new connector, I think. Let's see, do I have one already? I had one. Oh, what's that? What is that? Non-pin connector. No, it's a four-pin. Great. It's for speaker install and sound. Yeah, no, I don't have one. Great. Never mind about that idea. All these little headlamp things. Not why I have so many of them. Okay, so I don't have another nine pin connector. This is going to be interesting to do. Great. Oh well.
Now I don't know what to do. Um, anyways, yeah, I guess this project is on hold now as well. I think I'm just going to do maintenance on N scale locomotives. Just regular old servicing, <laughs> cleaning and lubrication and uh, just a regular maintenance. Oh well. Great. I'll put these back together a little later because I have ideas on what to do with them. But I don't want them. I want to work on them right now. Let's see, what do I want to work on? Uh, let's work on these old Kato uh, F units here. Cutter for that. Well, still nobody watching. Huh. All right. So I have a pair here of a uh, there of F units. These are old ones. I mean, geez, that's yeah, too bright for me. There we go. I mean, old as in really old. I don't know how old, but pre-DCC ready. Numbers 300 and 300B. Pack. Or set one of Santa Fe War Bonnets. Package doesn't say anything that would recommend a year of when these were made. Let's look at the packaging on the uh, Units itself, nothing. This is old, but it still runs pretty good. Let's see, do I have a? No, I don't think I do. Anyways, let's look. Take a look at them. Clean off the workbench there real quick. Come on. Do not want to come apart, do you? Nope, don't want to come apart, do ya? It's really in there. Interesting. I don't do want to come out. Okay, let's start with the B unit. I've had it apart before and I think it'll come apart easier than this. Anyways, B unit here. Should just pop right out. There we go. Okay, so yeah, two Phillips screws. I mean, yeah, old pre DCC ready for Kato's. Yeah. 
These are long screws. Yeah, that's metallic. Or a ferrous. The plastic nut is on the other side. Pop off fuel tank here. Sometimes you gotta get at it with your fingernails. It's the tough part is popping off fuel tanks on this. Interesting thing is, there's an LED in here, and this is a B unit, so, yeah, apparently it has a headlight. <laughs> Trying not to poke myself with these, there we go, fuel tank off. Now we get the housing for the headlight off. Here's the truck, rear truck, front truck. There we go. Alright, the light board, a little LED. So I bought these, this pair of engines at train show last month, I think. What month is it? Yeah, last month I bought it. Let's see, I think I have my power supply. Uh, I don't feel like getting it out. Never mind. All right, so I haven't had a chance to take them apart yet to take a look at their condition. So far, the motor looks pretty good. Yeah, the motor looks pretty good. Worm gears both look good. Plastic bushings haven't degraded and fallen apart, so it's also good. See the bushings. Here in place. Run. Back in place. There we go. Oh, okay then. In, that one's in. Ah, uh, springiness of the little contact there. And this one is no longer seated. Okay, so the motor looks pretty good. Let's take apart one of the trucks. Off the frame, there's one of the 
contacts. There's the other contact. Wheels look pretty dang clean. This looks like this engine has rarely ever seen any track time. Gears don't have any hair or anything in them. It's good. That's a little too bright. There we go. I think we got we can clean these out a little bit. Just with a dry Q tip. Put it into a point. Yeah, it's just a little bit of oxide coming out. Might as well do them both. I have this truck apart. Just a little bit of oxide came out. I'd say this engine was pretty well taken care of. Yeah, that or it's never been run. So essentially, I'm the first one to ever run it. Now the tricky part of getting the wipers to stay on. The contacts, I mean, they're not wipers. They don't wipe on the side of the... Uh, wheels like older ones did. Just try to keep place. There we go. And there's the click. There we go. Wheel spin, good. All right, so now let's reassemble this. Now that I know the condition of this engine. I don't know, should I put the LED back in it? Or should I just keep it out? Considering this is a B unit. Yeah, I think I'll put it back in just for the uh, funny factor. The uh, hilarity of it. Okay, so this doesn't want to go back in because that's doing bushing. Not being seated properly. There we go. Oh, go back in there. Come on. Yeah, back in there. Oh, stay. No. Nope. I gotta stay. some reason this one worm gear does not want to cooperate completely. Not the worm gear, but this one bushing. It always happens. There's always one. D 
these are plastic ones too. Because split frame. Axle in there. Good. Or not axle. Dang it. Urgio. There it is. So it doesn't end up falling out again. I say that and it does fall out again. Both fall out again. There we go. Plastic nuts here. Real pain in the butt. There we go. And screw in. Let's tighten it down. or not that isn't in all the way there we go of course this stupid thing comes apart just enough there we go let's make sure this one's tightened down enough there we go and that and that. All right, let's for comparison get out a more DCC friendly locomotive. Compare them, yeah, how they're built. What do I have for these? What's this? Oh, yeah, number boards and that stuff. Yeah, all right. So, for F40 pH. There's a difference between the two. Non-DCC ready and DCC ready. So, this would be very easy to 
install a decoder in. It's really simple. Pull out this little plastic piece here, for lack of other terms. Little plastic clip. Things sticky. Pull out the decoder or a light board in this case. We have, yeah. You have your frame rails here or power pickup rails. You insulate them underneath where these little, underneath these tabs here, you put a little capped on tape in underneath it or wrap them in it there and there install a new uh, DCC board and pretty much good to go put it in there like that press these down or you could solder them if you want to or you could use a little clip to keep them in place and done. Like five minutes or less. And that's installed. Eventually. clip is so tiny though it could be real easy to lose this is pretty much the same way you install decoders in just about all of Kato's products for locomotives and then scale not sure about HO scale though I don't have any Kato HO units but of course light canals To make sure the the light tubes and light ways are in properly. There we go. Anyways, that's. I'm probably going to leave this video here. Yeah, as for watching, if you're watching this later on. See you guys next time.